Do you ever have one of those days where just everything is going wrong? You have to wait in for a parcel so you can't do anything and they don't turn up. You put food in the oven and forget to turn the oven on. You're having a lovely shower and suddenly the hot water goes. That is the day I'm having. So we're going to play some wholesome games because it's what we need. So here's this cute little game I found about farming. Summon your courage, men, lest the devil elude us again. She is wounded. Now is our chance! Got a Oracula, a female Dracula. This isn't very farming related. Ugh! So weak! I can't fight! I need to hide! Jump down the well! Do it! Oh! <laughs> Silly bitch! Ah! That hurt! So weak! So hungry! I can't think! Is this the end? Day one. <sighs> oh, we got a cat. That I'm allergic. This ruins my day more. All right, okay, I'm up for goodness sake. Want to do you two nickels? Where is the cat? Oh, there, there's. Okay, I see the cat now. I reckon your mind's on your breakfast. Oh, he's doing a twerk. What do you have today, boy? Steak and potatoes, wine and caviar, or fish and biscuits? Can I? Oh, I can move. Oh, look at me. I'm. What was my name? Jared. Just bar. All right, we can get a saw for you. Or oh, it's a lovely little house we've got. Is this the kitchen? I guess these scraps will have to do. Jep's our name. Here you go. Nichols. That was your name. Have some scraps. Here you go, boy. That ought to help quiet your belly. What a life this would be. A little cabin on a farm. You and a little animal. Ah. Oh, peace. I know times are tough, Nichols. Soil's so poor, I ain't been able to grow nothing this year, but older. I'm grateful you can hunt for whatever. I ain't got for you. But me, I'm no hunter. And all, I'm all a thinner for it. But there's nothing to be gained from giving up early. That's the spirit I need. I'm off to wager what little coin we have left and seed. Maybe the earth will take some pity on us. Yeah, I'm not a farmer, but I feel like if you use the last of your money on seeds, that's not going to grow fast enough for you to eat it. Unless you've got a storage somewhere, which might be what's up here. Early bird and all that does make for town. Is this our little storage shed? My trusty old shovel should be here in the stable. No sense grabbing it before I have something to plant, though. Okay. Nothing up this way but Skogans, and I don't reckon he's taken to sell and see it any time recently. I'd best head south. Follow the path. Ooh, it's like Pokemon style music. Hello. Do you want a battle? Good day. Cool. A store. Here we are. Welcome to Dusty Hollow General Store. Haven't seen you in a while. I'm poor. True, true. Haven't had soil worth planting in, but I'd best get to trying anyhow. What sort of seed have you gotten stuck? Cabbage. <laughs> well, as many cabbage seeds as the contents of my pockets will buy me then. Ten cabbage seeds. Here's hoping I'll be back to sell some cabbage back to you. I've seen your field. I won't hold my breath. Well, that is rude. By the way, if you do actually manage to grow anything, I'd pay you better prices for prepared food than I would for raw produce. Provided, of course, that you are a half decent cook. I am an amazing chef. Oh, give it my best. I am amazing in the kitchen. What's this place here? Is there an inn? Hello, sir. Yes, is there something you need? Oh, I was just having a look around. Nice inn you've got here. Didn't know what it set up shop. Nice and open. In. Nice. I. In. In. Why does every sleepy eyed straw munching dust golem in my dark as my doorway fancy this? And in. You wander into a shop and see, amongst a dozen other items, four beds, and surmise you must be quite welcome to have a little lie down and perhaps a mint. Oh no, sir, I wouldn't. Do you see how clean those bedspreads are? How perfect! 
Do you think some liver-faced stain exhibit like yourself was wriggling around in one before checkout this morning and I just poof, fix it up? Is this a magic head? Begging your pardon, sir. I meant no. This is a furniture store. Which should have thought to be unbearably apparent because of all the furniture. Sure enough, sir. I see that plainly now. No mistake in it. Must be these old eyes. Your old eyes can go have a look around somewhere else. Now out with you. Out. He seems to have been having a worse day than I have. Oh, I was going to say, let's plant some seeds, but... Pardon, of folks, but foot traffic up to Skoga's Tavern bows mighty poor for my crops. And there's a perfectly good road leading right to it. I'd be ever so grateful if you go around. Why? So we don't step on your dirt? Oh no! Who will grow the dirt for our dirt soup and our dirt pies? Why don't you find some other dead patch of land to dodder around on, dirt farmer? Don't forget to weed your dirt, dirt farmer. You wouldn't want to accidentally grow some food. I doubt he know what to do with it. <laughs> My parents don't love me. Sadly, it's true. These are days ain't much comes forth from my land, but worms and millipedes, bags are packed, and off to find better accommodation. At least I could grow enough to get by before Skogans went up. Now, Jep, that won't do. It ain't for you to lay blame on your hardships at the feet of a fellow businessman. Skogans got a right to be here, same as you. There's quite enough feeling sorry for myself. I'd best get a plan in. Shovel should be in the stable. Awful lonesome in the stable without Annabelle. Is that our horse? Wish I knew where she ran off to. Sure could have used her help tilling this year. Good company too. Hope the old girl's finding herself enough to eat. Anyhow, Shovel should be in the storage closet. Is, is, this, is that this? Ah, here's my old shovel. It'll just have to do. Straight to work with us then. Let's plant some cabbage. Grounds mighty hard, but I'm sure if I just... Oof! Land sakes, broke my shovel! Clean in two! Nasty slice on my hand too. Oh. All told, the shovel's more worrisome than the hand. At least I got two of the ladder. Can't bring myself to set a good seed into the ground this hard and dry anyhow. Just as likely it'll set down roots and grow a cabbage here in my pockets. Aye. Reckon I could use a walk in the woods. Clear my head a bit. Where are the woods? Here. Oh. You're not going to patch your hand up first? Oh, it's a well. Ain't nothing a fella can do with so little money as this, but make a wish, I reckon. Let's throw away the last of our money. If we're going to die, we're going to die. Wouldn't be so presumptuous as to name any request in particular. Just some nice dirt. Just anything that might help us do would be fine by me. Off to bed with me then, I reckon. Man, what a, what a sad day. This is meant to make me feel better. Not worse, it made me feel worse. There's no man starving to death. Would you look at this old hand? Still bleeding away like a pocket full of raspberries. Man. Hey, Nichols. I think we're out of food for you. Sorry, boy. I haven't got a thing more to give you right now. Let's head to bed. Best time our bounce, Nichols. Dinner may be a while incoming. Night, night, boy. Dream yourself a good dinner, and we'll finger summit tomorrow. Mm. A taste. Tasted something. Blood. From where? Where am I? Oh, yes. The well. I remember now. Did we throw a bloody coin down there? We've awoken a vamp. A vampire. This is meant to be a wholesome game about farming. How long have I been down here? It doesn't matter. What I need right now is... Blood. Oh, I, I was. It was a 50 50. If she came up with talk about, I would have been a bit confused. <gasps> There's a man on our field again. Can find a walk. 
by walking home by myself. Oh, I think he's drunk. Not even. Even. Barely even. Drank anything. Well, I'm going to drink something. Oh, blood. At last I can feel my limbs again. He never even saw me. A perfect attack from behind. Seems I'm not so rusty. Oh dear me. But what do I do with this body? Down the well. Even if I toss him in the well, he'd smell and attract animals. Someone will find him. I am the master of stealth and subtlety. And I simply won't have it. Let's put it in the stables. I don't feel like this is a good place to hide a body. What about our house? Yes, hello, vampire courier here. Does someone order a dead body? What am I doing? I need to ditch this body somewhere, man. I can hear voices up this way. I better do something. Uh, where? 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 I've never hidden a body before. Uh, someone left a broken shovel laying out. Still a perfectly good hand tool for a strong enough arm. What luck! Oh, we get to... Are we going to bury him in the dirt? Oh! Well, that'll do just perfectly! Uh, the voice has gone from a vampire to a... Uh, a Trump supporter? So, <laughs> we can't plant cabbage, but maybe the dead bodies will give us the soil enough sustenance for some cabbages to blossom. And they'll also blossom a, a great romance from the, the vampire to Nichols. I wonder if anyone else might come stumbling in this direction. Round what? Huh? Oh, they run away. Get him, get him, get him. I have to get him from behind. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, then do I bury them? Got you, got you, got you. Okay, bury, bury, bury. I've just got to kill as many of them as I can then, I guess. This is... No, not what I expect. I, I, two of them got away. I guess I'm ready to hunt. I'm not really sure what just happened. Round two. Oh, uh, just do it again. Okay. Stay by the side. We go around. We go behind and we kill. Then we bury the body. Got you. No, oh, oh, I can get you though. Yes, there we go. I bury you quick and then we kill this other one. Perfect. No! Get back, come back, you silly bitch! Man, being a murderous vampire is a lot harder than I thought it would be. I guess that's hunting over? Oh, I can start again, okay. Round three. Come on! Who wants some blood? I don't think I'm gonna be able to catch you. Oh, I can! Yes, there we go. But not all of you. Oh, no. Why did you turn around? That makes no sense. Delicious. I feel so much better. The concentration that's taken from my brain. Do I feel I still need to find some place safe to sleep through the day? Stables. Now I'll go in. Let's go upstairs. There we go. Or, or not. Maybe in the closet. Wow, it's big enough, I guess. It's like a coffin, but vertical. And relatively empty besides an old saddle. My nose tells me this stable hasn't been used in some time. Dare I risk it? No matter what, I'm not going in that well. It'll take me a thousand years just to forget the smell. I'll at least explore a bit and see if there's anywhere else. The hay pile. I don't think there's anywhere else. Different. This place has a light on. So we can have a look. What's the name of that condition you have again? Autism. Spontaneous clown syndrome? Is that where you just become a clown randomly? No, the other one. Oh, you mean my... Yeah, that's the one. Hey, what colour am I speaking to you in right now? Oh, it doesn't always happen, but sometimes I see red when people talk about death, or green when people talk about recipes and cooking. I also often see yellow when someone is giving a helpful tip. Wow, you really can tell when someone's giving you good advice. Like if they tell you that you should save more money, or be nicer, or that you should probably brush your hair more often, for example. I've, 
I've lost my hairbrush and I'm having a shit day. <gasps> Interesting. The the inn, the furniture store. Ah, a lock shop door. How quaint. Perfect. Flip through magazines. A red cloak magazine. How to always turn to the right people for advice. Are you always left? Out for the blue cloak. Always left. Out by your friends. So red, right, blue, yellow. Red, turn right, blue, always left. Don't know what that means. I'm sure it, it'll be important. A church. Eh, it's a public place, but I'm not going in there. I don't think I'm going to find anywhere safe to sleep around here. Too many people. The stable it is then, I guess. Uh, so one of us has to be stable. And I guess it's going to be you tonight. Annabelle's not going to need it. Look, how many did we kill? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's not bad. I haven't found anywhere else. It seems this will have to do. Gonna be asleep, why does it matter? We're on day two. <sighs> Your voice is much easier on my throat. I missed you, Jeb. Morning, Nichols. Sorry, boy. I haven't presently got a darn thing to give you. Man. Go try and plant some stuff. Do we check out the stable? Hey, Oracular. Don't reckon I've anything of use left in here. Oh, you'd be surprised. You'd be surprised, buddy. Nothing here. Maybe I just, I don't know, walk into town. Not a single coin in my pocket now. No use going down. I guess I'd say. I guess I'd say my last coin was money well spent. <laughs> I don't get it. So what's this? The earth here. Looks like a titch healthier than the rest. Loose, damp, fertile even, if I do say so myself. Why, I could sow a seed in this with my bare hands. No harm in hoping when hope's all I got for dinner. Good luck, little seed. Nicholas and I are rooting for you. And I do that on all the bits of, uh... Here we go, sakes alive, it's a miracle. It's just done less, we gotta come back to life. So every victim the vampire kills, I can plant a cabbage. Fascinating. It's a bit like Animal Crossing, but, but for adults uh, and, and serial killers. There we go. I didn't kill enough to plant all my cabbage, but hey. Still broke as a stick in a wagon wheel. Ain't no sense going town today. But I've begun to feel hopeful that I'll have crops to sell soon. So what, what should I do? What, what do I do until, until then? Are they gonna be ready now? Don't reckon I should bother this seed no more. Let's just leave it be. Cause I can't, I can't plant nothing more. That's all. I, ca I can't plant no more. I got no more victims. So I, I guess I just, I just go back to bed and, and sleep. Early to bed, and early to rise. Nine, nine nickels. Uh, easy as that. Plant eight cabbages. Go home. That's what a day. That's best day sleep I've had in, in, in a storage closet in a disused stable. How far I've fallen. Oh well, can't let it ruin my breakfast. Okay, we need to make sure we kill more. To I mean, look at these cabbages. Oh, I fell over a cabbage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's murder. Okay, round one. There's our bloodlust in the top left. Oh, I fell. Now there's more strategy involved. There we go. I've got you as well. Okay. Are they going to fall over them as well? Uh, yes, they do. They also fall. Okay, yes, you felt that's a great for me. And now I can kill you. No, you saw me. Oh, I, I went out at the side. That's fine. Round two. 
So what's happening? So these meters in the top left, are they filling up when I when I hunt? Or do they go down when I get spotted? Oh, this is not going well. Just, I mean, it's your fault, guys, for walking across this. There's actually crops on it now, so you actually are bad people. There's, there's no... Oh, I only got two that time, man, at five. Oh, this ain't going to be no good for Jeb and Nichols. This game got hard. As soon as Cabbage got involved, oh, all the strategy went out the window. Okay, let's get you, let's get you, you little blonde bitch. Yes, gotcha. Okay, so we got an eight again. I guess that's what we're doing. And we go back to bed. As easy as that. Now, Jeb should have food. Land sakes, we did it, Nichols. As, as I can sell this as a cabbage in town. Maybe even as a soup if there's enough. Right, let's get cooking then. Let's make some cabbage soup cooking experiment. We've all got no money and we've got eight cabbages. Let's play around. I reckon this soup would be a fine way to cook your cabbage. Let's get the soup pot filled just over halfway with cabbage and give her a go. That seems like a fine amount for an ordinary soup. Select ingredients. Cabbage. Cook. Shucks. That didn't turn out to be no kind of food. Wrong ingredients or wrong order, I reckon. Maybe Nichols will like it. Let's try again. Just over halfway. I don't know how many halfway would be. Four? Oh, just... A... Oh, I need to... Okay. Maybe that thing at the bottom there is the pot. So just over halfway will be three. Let's try that. Eureka! I've created cabbage soup! And let's do it one more time. I can just do it now. Make one. Perfect. Now I've got some soup. Shut up! Oh. I can't head off to town without giving Nickel something to eat. Does he get the rejected cabbage soup? I was going to buy you some tuna. Sorry, boy, not the fanciest dinner. It's, hey, it's probably better than the alternative, which was one raw cabbage. Oh, we got the battle music back. Let's go sell. Sell. Goods. Two cabbage soup. There we go. And perfect. We now have 90p to our name. You gonna say anything about that? No, you are wrong. I guess the grind continues. Buy some more seeds. Oh, we can get some pumpkins. Right, let's get um, let's get five cabbage seeds and two pumpkin seeds, and another cabbage seed because I can't do math today apparently. Well, I'll be pumpkin seeds. A general store it is. To imply otherwise would be loveless and unwise, I assure you. This is like plant versus zombie strategies. Okay, now we're out, but we can switch it for these pumpkins. Let's plant some pumpkins. I've got two of them. So let's put them up here. Oh, they're big. And there. Perfect. I think that's all of it. So let's head back to bed. Same all again, Nickel. Same again tomorrow. Rising grand. But well, here we go. Our blood is getting higher. Okay, we don't trip over those. We don't trip over pumpkins. They actually just block us, so that's good. There we go. No, oh, you've spotted me. Right, let me get you. Okay, okay, I've got you at least. There we go. I should probably be more strategic in where I am um, getting these guys. So I'm going to start planting them all right at the top here. That way I can try and get a line across the top. Having them all randomly all over the place isn't making it very easy for me. I need to be better at uh, planning where I'm going to kill people. Is essentially what I'm saying my New Year's resolution is. Now look at that. We've got a nice line across the top which we can plant on tomorrow. And if we try and put all pumpkins there, it could be interesting. But for now, a good night hunting. We're satiated. Back to bed. Morning, Nichols. 
This morning you can have a cabbage. Oh, what a happy boy! Oh, what's here? Stuff growing here on its own? Cabbage. Ja. And what is this massive building here? Yes! Yes, it's me, the mayor. I'm a regular mayor. Good day. Huh. Sure that's not relevant at all? Can I go to church? Oh. And before him he saw a table with ten kinds of bread and ten kinds of soup. And he knew it was a miracle and there are only three kinds of bread and three kinds of soup. Interesting. There's an inscription that says, Alms for the poor, suggested donation. 300 pennies! Bit more than I've got handy though. You guys have got any more soup with them? I'm sorry, but I cannot talk right now. I must transcribe these words. So there's only three kinds of soup. So maybe pumpkin soup isn't a real thing. Don't know what that implies, you know, law-wise, but... Pete's sake, would you look at this? Wild rye has seen fit to visit my humble farm. Not the most profitable crop, but I can use it for bread. Hmm. No yeast at your general store, but I'll think on it a bit. Reckon I'll come up with something eventually. I can still harvest it in the meantime. I bet it'll come right up on its own in any fertile ground I ain't sown. Okay, get some there, then get some there. This should block the victims. Did I feed you this morning? Um, have some scraps, buddy. Perfect. Nah, this is just how life be. It's been a week almost. Oh, here's the rye. Oh, look at it. Oh, maybe they can't see us through this. This is fascinating. Let's do, let's find out, let's do an experiment. They can't see us through this, okay, that's good to know. They can see us if they look at us though. They're, they're... No, stop it! Oh, I, I killed him anyway. I'm getting stronger. So, okay, they can't see us through Rye, but we just have to be very careful. Maybe I'll look over here. No, stop running! Uh, we got, okay, I got you at least. Eventually I'll have this whole ground ripe, so it's not too bad if we miss some now. But, oh, we're doing terrible tonight. We're doing really badly. I don't know what it is. It's, they're, just, they're just so wriggly. They're so hard to murder. Stop it, stop it, come back, stop, stop it, 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 stop it. I'm coming for you, I'm hunting you, I'm hunting you, I'm hunting you. That was a failure of a night. You should be ashamed of yourself. Morning, Nichols. Meow. 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 What's down here? Don't reckon I have any business outside of town. That old gate. Oh, hello, sir. What do you mean you don't have parsley? I must have it to prepare my soup for the King's Challenge. I'm travelling to the capital tomorrow. You call this a general store? I call it a non parsley store. Some of our items may be out of stock at the moment, sir. Unacceptable. Outrageous. I'm beginning to regret shopping in this dreadful little town. I should hope I can expect better service at the inn across the road. I, 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 I tried. What was all the ruckus? Farmer from another town to try his hand at winning a golden shovel. Golden sh My voices. Golden shovel. The king is awarding a golden shovel to whoever is the first to present a farm fresh dish fit for the king's table. Well, I'll be. What a prize. I'd sure love to have a whack at it, but I need a suitable recipe, a way to get to the capital, and somebody to look after Nichols while I'm away. Never have fancy gold, but I'm fresh out of shovels. Sorry, the walls on display are... Reserved. I know. Heh. <laughs> Anyhow, no harm poking around looking for cat sitters experimenting with recipes, I guess, just in case. I'd offer to help, but I'm allergic. To cats. To helping. Ask, ask him around. Hey, you like cats? Beg your pardon. My name's Jeb. Pardon me interrupting your day, but I've been looking for someone to find my cat for a couple of days while I'm out of town. I don't suppose you'd be interested. He don't need much, not pay for your troubles, of course. Oh, uh, I don't know. I've never taken care of a cat. I'd like to try, but... Well, I'd really want to make a good first impression. 
Maybe I could bring some of his favorite food. What does he like? You know, I'm not too sure. He ain't too picky. He eats about whatever I give him. But I'll try and divine what he most fancies and let you know. That would be great. My name's Melia, by the way. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. Alright, what? Did this guy have any luck at the store? No. Okay. How about you? Beg your pardon, young lady. I mean, I think we found the guy for cats here. Do you uh, like cats? Cats? I love cats. Do you have a cat with you? Not presently. He's at home. You should go get him. I love kitties. Oh, uh, get him? Won't do no harm, I guess. Kitty! I mean, maybe I'll get a recipe out of it. <laughs> oh, I've got a bad feeling. Hey, Nichols, you want to go for a walk? On walkies? We're going to have a little adventure outside, boy. Come on, walkies. Let's go. Can't go to Malaya because they want a good first impression. But Kitty, yay! Glad to see someone as fond of him as me. <laughs> Later on. Now that you've seen for yourself what a fine specimen he is, do you reckon that if I were out of town for a bit, you'd mind checking in on him? I'd pay for your trouble, of course. I don't need money, mister. I just want to play with him more. I want to play with him every day. Every day. Well, I want to play with him on at least three more days. That sounds fair enough. I like to roam around town, so just come find me whenever Nichols can play. So we can do her for free in terms of cat sitting. That's probably good to know. I assume these are all houses that are... Yeah, we can't just go into them. What if we go to the uh, to the inn at the top? Or the, the bar? Maybe people up here have recipes. Hey man, you like cats? Good day to you. Good day. How can I help you? My name's Jeff, and I run the farm just south of here. Say, I know it's a shot in the dark and all, but might you know anyone who's willing to look after a cat once in a while? I'm Casey, and it just so happens I'm rather good with animals myself. Cats, dogs, birds, my hair, it's beautiful. A friend's pet monkey spent the summer with me once and didn't want to go back in the fall. Land's sakes, that's quite a resume. No pets of your own. I don't really see myself settling down with an animal. Variety is the spice of life. Well, a cat's not so exciting, I guess, but suppose now we're out of town for a few days. Do you reckon you could look in on my cat Nichols? I'd pay you for your trouble, of course. I've got New York. Well, at risk of breaking, I'm something of a commodity as a pet sitter. I'll do it happily, but I'm probably not the cheapest option. Approximately what figure would you figure? A thousand. That's a big ask, all right? Don't know how I can manage it, but I'll sure let you know. Here we got a cheap option, a free option, and an expensive option. Right, I need a drink. Good day to you, Mr. Skulkin. How's business? Elfie, but feels a bit slower than usual. What happened to you? Seems like 26 or so of my regulars aren't around today. Awful sorry to hear it. What'll it be? Nothing for me, please, sir. I thought I'd say hello. I'll be on my way. Back to your field, dirt farmer. I'm making sure I focus on the blue fuckers today. Wait. Blue to the right, red to the left. Probably worth remembering. Right, let's get planting. So I guess if I get to a certain point, I can potentially just make it a maze, which I'm kind of doing here. Off to bed we go. Good night, Nichols. Right, blue dresses, blue dresses, blue dresses. Let's get this first blood drop up. Okay, I can't get the blue one. Gotta get the blue one. Got ya! There we go. Now, now we're cooking. Now we're cooking with uh, humans. Okay, free that time. That's that's better than we have been doing. Let's get straight back to it. We're blocking them off quite well. I wasn't going for you. Don't worry, buddy. Oh, you've just gone up. There we go. Oh, you turned at the wrong set. I got you anyway. That's fine. You're trapped. I got you anyway. Okay, we can trap them in dead ends. Fascinating. And I'm pretty sure that was the one that was very rude to Farmer Man. Alright, let's get this build. Got ya! Even if they're alerted, we can still get them. 
long as we trap them somewhere. Some of them we don't need to trap. You know, the more I look at it, that pumpkin really does look good in the middle. Is this some sort of recipe? Now remember, when you go out in the tavern, start with beer, then you're in the clear. Start with beer, I'm in the clear. Got it. What if I start with liquor? You'll get sick quicker. Even whiskey? Very risky. What about wine? Probably fine. Bottom shelf gin? Grab a bin. Oh, that was close enough. Buy your own drinks from now on. Oh, come on, man. You always buy. You know I'm broke. Yeah, well, I'm running low now. That dirt farmer doesn't have another horse to steal. Oh. I recognize you. Are you not the guy that owns the inn? And I don't think that guy in the goofy hat would buy another one from me even if he did. What was up with that hat? And why did he smell like, I don't know, sort of delicious? Guy in a weird hat. So what's going on in here? This is interesting. This is the mayor's house. Hmm. I think I'm not the only man barring down. Oh, beautiful. Lovely, lovely, lovely stuff. Oh, it grows so good and fast. Oh, funny life worked like this. Cryo sleep. If it was reliable, what a journey that would be. Uh, I don't think I've given you a pumpkin yet. There you go, add it. Well, you jumped twice for that, so I think you liked it. I'm trying to work out what you like best. Oh, I can take you for a walk. Usually have 32 or more customers around this time. We're killing them all. Okay, and we're out. Perfect. So it's done. Oh, 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 God. Ugh, time to hunt. We'll see if we can get any more hints around town. And I, oh, well, I got you too. Oh, I powered up. Raculous leveled up. I can now walk off. Oh, 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 oh. That could not have been a better upgrade. I can walk over cabbages now. I'm so strong and mighty. What's going on in here this time? Different window. Oh, it's a maid. Ah! Uh! So much hair to clean up around here. Hair, broken plates, broken furniture. Not to mention every time, any time, a gay stays just a bit too late. No, no. Don't think about it. You need this job. And it's safe enough as long as you're wearing. Maybe that might not be a vampire. It's an incredible pumpkin. Good in bread and soup. Okay. I don't care about the bone chilling interview. The mayor ate all my chicken. Pet sitter envy. It's whole interview with Keswick. So he's a really expensive guy. A good hunter always carries his garlic. Okay. There's a five ingredient soup. So there's there's new stuff every night, I think. I have seen a vision of a dark power awakened. Ferociously hungry from a long sleep. It stalks the quiet shadows of Dusty Hollow. Dusty Hollow. Never heard of it. Is that the guy from the bar? This power is strong, but it is no match for your training. You must go. Waste no time. I'll set out immediately. Uh oh. You know what, Nichols? I think this might be the day I mosey over to Skogas and purchase a brew. Bacon, of course. I hear it can be used to make a fine loaf of bread, and I think I might give her a go. The hunter. We need to start looking at garlic. No, the hunter needs garlic. Have some rye. The one jump. I don't. I, so I'm sorry. I don't speak cat. Is is one jump and a spin, then a jump and a spin better than two jumps and two spins? Or, or I, I, I'm just not. I'm just not sure. I failed that class in, in high school. Cat language, you know, like kitty lingo, uh, like uh, like parcel tongue, but pussy tongue. No, that's disgusting. You there, old man? <laughs> that's me. <laughs> My sisters tell me you've crossed paths with something foul. Begging your pardon. My work's in the sunshine and dirt, so that comes with the trade. No, I've been worse. You've been tainted by ra, ra. <coughs> he sneezed, I coughed. We connected. You've been around rye, haven't you? Bowels of plants, my entire family is extremely allergic. Keep clear of me, old man. I've dangerous work to do. I need to be in absolute peak performance. 
Wish you shut myself the door. Safety and good after you, sir. Good to know. So he's allergic to rye, which means the feel is probably safe. Right, shall we have a look at some bread recipes then? Cooking experiments, select ingredients. Beer, start with beer. Then rye. Mm, oh. Try it. No, didn't work. Okay, well, 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 we'll see if we can get out of here. Maybe we put pumpkin in the middle. I, I just don't know how to make bread. Start hunting. What's gonna happen? I'm, I'm a little bit on edge. Oh, I can see when I level up there, when I get to 75 victims, so I need 27 more. Okay, that should probably take about... Like, three more nights? How about the foul beast? Oh no, what's a hunter doing here? So you can't get me through right, can you? But I want to stay away from you. Yes, I got you. Oh, I killed him. Oh, easy as that. Oh. What a bitch. Ah, well, I've worked hard. Uh, bedtime. If your brother has fallen in dusty hollows, I have found his spirit wither and die. But in darkness, he hunted persists and grows stronger each night. I am saddened by my brother's passing, but made resolute by the promise of revenge. And the whole family is allergic, so it's okay. Another brother. You will not face this battle alone, brother, for I too would see our brother avenged. Brother! How long has it been? Our brother would be honored to know his brothers were fighting side by side to avenge him. But brother, how might we avoid our brother's fate? By working together and by showing courage. From whatever place the townsfolk fearfully flee, we shall return, we shall run to it. It is settled then. We row us out together at dawn. Oh. Mm. Oh. Hey, Nichols. What do you want, buddy? Have a beer. Oh. Fine. Have some scraps. That's very interesting. So they, I guess they're fleeing from the, the bar? Or are they fleeing from here? Oh, what's this? I'll be garlic. Ooh. That could potentially be interesting for us. You know, I'm, I'm on the vampire side. I don't know why. They just... I mean, we don't like the people they're killing. They're, they're killing nasty, nasty people. Remember, friends, that having plenty of one thing is sustaining, but to create something magnificent requires a variety of ingredients. Oh, there's so many scriptures now. Okay. Should you forget the lessons learned by experimentation, take inventory and learn them anew. She used these nine stalks to bake nine loaves of bread, and the people knew it was a miracle, but they knew there was only enough for three loaves of bread. No matter what kind of bread you're making. Vengeance has no place. A good heart. Just as rye has no place in a good soup. Oh, yeah, rye doesn't belong in soup. It's free rye for each bread. Alright, be careful. There's more of them now. Oh, God, there's so many of them. Oh, my goodness. They get them when they're in rye. Oh, no. I got hit. No. If they get you once, that's it. Oh, my oh, and you start again. So I have to get you when you're in Rye. Come over here. So that noise is not them shooting, it's them sneezing. My bad. Okay, we get it now. We get it. So if we can get a whole wall of Rye up on this side, that would be really good. Got you! If you guys weren't allergic to Rye, you would be so cool. Alright, this is a new light, I think. Is this another hint? It's Boyar! Good eye, mate. I was gonna make stew tonight. Did you not leave me any garlic? Sorry, Romy. You know what they say, nice guys finish garlic. What? No, they don't. No one says that. Sure they do. They say put garlic on Barbie. It's just one of those little sayings saying like, saving the best for garlic. So garlic's last. You seriously think that's what people say? What an idiot. <laughs> oh, your breath reeks. 
<laughs> you last garlic last best. Pumpkin middle, beer start, garlic last. This is for our five, five thing ingredients. Oh, look at this garden, man, wow. We're gonna have it full in no time. Let's go make some cabbage. Annabelle? Thanks a lot, could that be Annabelle? It's not like it came from the woods. Annabelle? Uh, are these the goofy hat men? Right, I've got my garlic on me. I've got rye on me. Miss Mary Mac, Mac, Mac. Oh, hi. Hey, I want to ask you. You're a farmer, right? So you grow vegetables? Yeah, I do. Do you know how to make pumpkin cabbage soup? It's my favorite. Not presently, but I'm sure I could give it a try. Pumpkin cabbage soup. I want to play Nichols, but right now I'm just so hungry. I don't think I have the energy. I'll see about some pumpkin cabbage soup. I sense a residual aura of some creature here. Something powerful. Something fell. What fell? No, no, nothing fell. Something fell. You're not explaining this well. I am explaining this well. Land sakes, Annabelle. Hold tight, old girl. I'll figure something out. A thousand pardons, sir. I'm well. It's just that that's my... Best not sound like I'm accusing nobody of theft if I fancy getting my horse back. That's a mighty fine horse you've got there, and I'm awfully keen to buy her off you, supposing you're willing to sell. This poor creature. Some trader sold it to me, calling her a seasoned war horse, but she's as docile as she is slow. Even so, she carries a light burden acceptability, acceptably, and worth more to me on my return than any sum you might offer. Sir, I'm not one to press on, it's just that. Enough of man, you'll aggravate my condition. Your condition? A rye allergy, maybe? No. <laughs> My other condition. Blast, there it goes. Now be gone with you. Pumpkin cabbage soup. Let's, let's give it a go. If cabbage is three cabbages, then it makes sense that pumpkin cabbage soup would be two of each. No. What about two cabbages and one pumpkin? Nope. Ah, garlic sells for a lot. Sheesh. Okay, what I'm gonna do now, now I've got that money, I'm gonna go to the church and make a donation. And also see what the latest scripture is. I have nothing more to teach. Stop writing down everything I say. Let me donate 300p. Been hard times myself and awful lucky there behind me. The least I can do is help others through the same spot. I. That. I think that just got me an achievement. Yep, that, that all that did was get me an achievement. Annoying. Well, with the little money I got left, let's buy some seeds. Off to bed, Nichols. Ooh, something did happen. <sighs> One of the easiest locks in town. Probably nothing worth taking, but it never hurts to check. What's this? This is actually quite a bit of money. Wait till the boys see this. We'll pack Gogas to the rafters tonight. Are we gonna get a lot of uh, a lot of traffic tonight? Should have done that before the hunters came. Get you first. Get you. Okay, let's get away from these hunters. Oh, this is dangerous. It's dangerous. It's dangerous and quite frankly silly. So much ride. So much ride tonight. It's really helped us out. Five more victims. Come on. There we go. Oh, it really is rushing tonight. Sheesh. Yes, level up! I can now walk over pumpkins. If <laughs> only I had any. Ooh, can I go over to the camp? Oh. No would be the answer to that. Oh. Oh, it's raining. Rain? But it isn't cloudy. No bad, I'm done hunting. I'm gonna go sleep for a day. Oh? Rain. 
on a cloudless night. She's killed so many that the heavens themselves weep. Who is this man? Excellent. <laughs> Haven't slept so well as that in a year, Nichols. I don't reckon anything brings peaceful dreams to an old farmer's slumber quite so well as the sound of rain on the rooftops. Naturally, the crops will be grateful, but beyond that, I'll bet you two pennies in a button there's mushrooms popping up every which way we're outside today. Might poke around and see if I can find some. So I reckon it's going to be a uh, pumpkin cabbage, there's pumpkin, a pumpkin cabbage, and then a mushroom soup, maybe. Oh, mushrooms everywhere. Hell yeah. Hey, buddy, how's it going? Don't trouble me, old man. I'm here on business, and you don't want my hair directed. <laughs> this is going to be the greatest harvest you've ever seen, because I have a smart plan. So we can now walk over pumpkins. The others cannot. I'm going to trap them inside so they can't escape me. Okay, let's move all out of pumpkins. And then let's get some cabbages in some of the areas they could potentially run through, like here. Perfect, all sorted. Back to bed, Nichols. Okay, looks like I might have gotten the final hint. Mushroom, I have given you life that you may fulfill the prophecy. Go forth, Mushroom, go forth. Mushroom, why won't you go? The prophecy says that Mushroom has but one purpose, and it is to go forth. Beer. Something. Pumpkin. Mushroom. Garlic. Surely it's cabbage. Surely it's cabbage. There goes fifth. Or second. Or wherever. It has to be. It's the only thing that makes sense. Cabbage or rye. And I don't think it'll be rye, because rye has no place in soup. I'm so smart. Shall we give this a go then? I think I've got everything for it. Beer first. Then it must be cabbage. Because pumpkin goes in the middle. And then mushroom comes forth. Garlic is last. Yes! I've got the rising star soup. Land sakes, if this ain't a soup that's fit for a king, I sure don't know what it is. I figured out the end game soup before the, the rest of them. Okay, so I'll be honest, I have looked up at the recipes. Because we've been at this now for two hours. And I cannot figure out any recipes for the life of me. Of the ones that are literally given to me. So apparently for pumpkin soup, pumpkin was in the middle. It was a uh, cabbage, pumpkin, and cabbage. I thought I tried that. That makes a lot of sense. I'm not sure. Maybe I didn't try that, but I've got that for the girl now. Also for the bread, it was beer. And then it was free rye, free strands, like they said. Perfect. It's your soup. Hmm. Hmm. Delicious. It's pumpkiny. It's cabbagey. It's soupy. Glad you like it. Now I want to play with Nichols. Sure, sure. Kitty, yay! Bye, bye, Nichols. I still want to play with you two more time. There we go. Once they're in, they're stuck. Hello. How are you doing in here? Kitty, yay! <clears throat> Bye bye, Nichols. Whoa! Suddenly I feel. Oh, bad? Good? Huh? Where, where am I? What happened to me? Ugh, I feel terrible. Garlic? Of course you do. Who. By Mayor's request, Skogan's Tavern has changed its menu. The tavern goers you've been preying on have been drinking garlic-infused beer all night. <laughs> Ugh, that explains a lot. Delicious, aren't they? But this is my town, and I don't recall inviting you to dinner. I see. Your aroma betrays you, filthy dog. Such ingratitude! You should thank me for saving you from those pesky hunters. I had to take a few of them out to recover you in one piece. The one wearing clown makeup almost got you after you lost consciousness. The horse is ours. Perhaps he was only trying to spare me from waking up and smelling you. Speak all you like, Bat. Next time I change, I'll eat your flesh and steal your immortality. Until then, enjoy your new home. You've got to be kidding. 
I'm trapped in this courtyard since I'm surrounded by a house I haven't been invited to. It's the most irritating way to trap a vampire. I'm quite annoyed at being stowed away and to be eaten later in some werewolf's pantry. Even more annoyed that it's an upgrade from where I've been staying. Looks like this is where I'll be sleeping unless I decide I'd rather burn to death in the sun. That's a predicament. Let's go get our horse. Ah, you old man. I'd hope he might come again. Alas, my dear brother is lost to us and he has left this horse in my charge. But she will not follow my commands. I fear I do not possess my brother's way with animals. Neither real nor balloon. Truly sorry for your loss, sir. Heaven's sake, that condition of his must be more serious than I reckoned. Poor fella. Should you still wish to purchase this creature, I will part with her 500. Yes. It is done, then. Let's go back to your stable, girl. Done deal. I might just get to compete with that golden shovel after all. Go on, girl. Go in there. I'm glad you're home regardless, girl, but the timing ain't bad. Been just itching to try my hand at the king's cooking challenge at the capital, and these old bones could use right there. I've come by a recipe I think will knock his majesty's socks clean off. Just need someone to watch Nichols. So I can pay for that guy if I sell my produce. I also think I now am just one play away with that girl. Hello? What are you doing down there? Oh, I feel terrible. This girl can stop putting garlic in the beer. Why would he do that? Beer and garlic should be kept as far apart as possible. Anyway, what's up? Kitty cat. Jep. This is the bar. Get your cat and granddaughter out of here. How dare you? I'm 36 years old and I was just about to order. What? I just act like this way for fun. It annoys the daylights out of my son. <laughs> Mom, I am begging you. Stop. Thanks for bringing Nichols, chap. But it doesn't seem like he's welcome here. Anyway, he's become my best little friend. I'll check in on him anytime you like. Mm, do I want to pick her? He seems a bit cuckoo. I I know I'm just not all that, but I feel like here's your thousand pennies as requested. There you go. The hints in the shop were kind of pushing me towards getting this guy. It seemed like he was the right answer. Oh, well, Annabelle, I reckon I've got all I need. A mouthwatering recipe, a fine traveling companion, and a company nickels while we're away. Nothing in particular keeping us from paying a visit to the capital. Let's get the hell out of here. Fine weather for settling out, and if it keeps up, We'll have a nice nighttime ride back tomorrow night by the light of the full moon, too. Let's be off then, old girl. Adventure awaits. Let's get ourselves that golden shovel. Oh, this. The time has come, but... Prepare to die. This way. What? Hut, 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 hut. We've two beasts caught at once, brothers. Let us dispatch them both. You ordered us dinner? How very thoughtful. Slay first the vampire, for she has found 33 of our brothers. You'll all die together. Fools. Oh. It's going to be very... Yeah, that, okay, this is going to be very tricky. Ooh, got me. Oof. Mm, okay. Fuck. Oh, he kills me too. I thought we were working together, bro. Bro is beelining for me and more's coming in. They keep coming. Okay. Don't go near the door. Oh, still got me. No, oh, I thought you were... Oh, they got me. No. No, I got caught somewhere. No. No. You can't come out of the door. Stop it. Every time he kills one, another one spawns. That's how. That's what it is. Oh! I just need to kill two more. No! Yes, yes, yes! Power up! I'm really a bat now, so long, dog! That took me two tries. Wait a minute. This guy is the last place I want to be when the sun comes up, and I don't have time to find a place to hide. I've got to get back to the stable. I hope the hunters can keep him busy enough so he won't have time to come looking for me. What do I smell? Is there a horse in here? The saddle's gone. 
Let's do with the news again. I can't sleep here anymore. What do I do? Where can I hide? What do you mean that they're looking for me? Uh oh, oh no. No, 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 no. What do I do? Yes, got him. If I'm lucky, that might have knocked him out. But even then, I... Oh. Home at last, Annabelle. And a fine trip it was. We didn't get to do it. Looks like some kind of critters must have found their way in here while we were gone and made some trouble. No real harm done. Proud as I am of my cooking, seems it ain't quite worth a golden shovel in the big city. Second place is plenty fine prize to bring home, though. And a silver pitchfork ain't nothing to sneeze at. 99, old girl. We'll see you in the morning. I... Uh... Wow. Because it was silver. How about you, fell beast? we still got the hunters. Bat emerged. Sorry? What? Chicken apples. <laughs> They're pretty close to the town. Uh, what? Huh? Uh, attack. Bat. B. Slain. And let's go on a bat A. Hell yeah. Adventure was victorious. Almost there. What's happened? Huh? Looking forward to a hot meal and a good night's sleep. Is this the guy Bane is it in my cat? Is this what he's doing? This is the same town. I'm so Good day, fellow adventurer. Good good day. Welcome to Fertile Hollow Armory. Wow, quite a selection. What would you like to rent? Uh, rent? Yes, due to the realities of supply and demand, we are strictly rent-only armory. If you see something you like, I can get some insurance forms to get started on. I think I'll stay with the equipment I've got for now. Skogan! Wh what? What it will be? Uh, I mean... What do you need? Sorry to bother you, this town is a bit different since I was here last. Weren't you the barkeeper? Who are you? Sure, and now I'm the mayor. Ever since the last fella disappeared. Disappeared? Without a trace, Tan elected me to replace him. A distressing story, but congratulations on being elected. I don't mind the new digs. Anyway, I'm mayor, not town historian. If you want to chit chat with somebody, head up to Jeps. There's a sign on the door. There is no adventurers. This is a place of wisdom, not free healing. <laughs> you. La la la. What's happened? So. I'm. Look at the field. So many pumpkins and garlics and cabbages. Oh, what's over this way? A lone hunter. Good day, adventurer. What brings you to my camp? I heard there was an inn. You're not staying there? I sense something strange about the place, so I've decided to make camp here. Why come to this town at all if there's not food and rest? I am a vampire hunter by trade, as were 38 of my brothers who fell here. I have come to avenge them. That's quite a few brothers. And you all became vampire hunters? Oh no, most of us went into finance. Much safer. But for some of us, the call to hunt was too strong to resist. Well, good luck. Just an old well. Oh well. So the guy cats in. A familiar face. Back for a break from adventuring. Only briefly. This town seems very different since I saw it last. It's seen a quiet transformation. Some attribute it to the new mayor, others to the rains. I spoke to some travelers and still stranger theories. And what do you say? Well, I wouldn't dare guess specifics, 
but it certainly feels as though one man's hard work and generosity has caught the eye of some karmic force or another. You might poke around the old tavern up north. It's an inn now. That's just where I was headed. Hello, Nikus. Meow. Speaking of inns. Yes, can I help you? Yeah, have you got anything for a novice? I'm proficient as a swordsman, but I dabble in. I recommend a compass and a canteen, then, and perhaps one of those survival guys at the front. I, I was hoping for some sort of amulet, and I thought those books would be... Say spell books, and I'll hit you with every last one of them. This is not a magic shop. But, but the, the, the scrolls, the potions, even your hat. It's just a wide-brimmed hat. Do you even know what hat brims are for? They are for blocking the sun. Mainly a problem faced by rugged outdoorsmen like myself, not the crusty old cultists muttering over cauldrons full of newts. Those potions won't help you shoot lightning, but they will boost your electrolytes, and I think you'll find that's far more useful after a long trek. And scrolls? Seriously, look at those. They're as wide as I am tall, you don't. Those are clearly sleeping pads. The absurdity of it. I won't do business with the likes of you. Now get out of my camping store. Out! Alright, to the inn. Oh, oh. An inn. Let's go in the inn. This must be the inn. Done exploring town? I think so. Wow. Pizza. Incredible to find such good food and lodgings in a place like this. Even the furniture is rather nice. The garlic bread here is splendid. Pumpkin bread. More pumpkin bread. Brave heroes and confident fools congregate here, adventurer. Which are you? Tomorrow I resume my quest. Dangers untold await me. Will I see my home again? Bother someone else. Right, well, have you thought... Nice sword. Give you 10p for it. I, I don't think so. And Shab. Welcome. What can I do for you? A meal and a bed, please. Our oh, two specialties. What luck. I was also hoping to learn a bit more about this town. Seems it's changed a lot since I was here last. Changed for me more than just about anyone, I reckon. Barely had a farm, and now I've got a farm, an inn, and a restaurant, too. Remarkable. What brought about such a change in your luck? Well, you see, there was a vampire that was living on my land and was killing hundreds of people every single week, and it was extraordinary. But then a werewolf mayor tried to take him out, but it didn't work, so they flew away. And then I went to a competition, and the mayor died. I can't place it on any one particular thing. But I reckon it was about the time I threw my last coin <laughs> into an old well. And with so much extra food being produced in such a remote little town such as this, it became a popular start for the adventuring sort. So I added another floor for folks to sleep, and the rest is history. Quite a journey. Well, thank you for the food and company. It's time to get some sleep. I reckon I'm near done for today, too. Sleep well. What's this asshole still doing here? Be gone. Innkeeper. Two slices of pumpkin bread. Uh, oh, terribly sorry, sir. Last call for supper was at sundown and no one came up. I wasn't hungry then. I am hungry now. Bread. On a clean plate. Oh, I, uh, I... Good evening, Jep. Oh, uh, evening, Clara. Hope the noise didn't wake you, this gentleman. I overheard. Not to worry, my shift is starting soon anyway. Nothing I can't handle. You sure? Fire's already gone cold and... Go on now. You've got an early morning tomorrow. Get some rest. Well... That's true enough. Awful sorry for leaving you with a mess. I'll clean up. Good night, Jep. Don't know what I ever did to deserve such good help. You're a blessing, Claria. Good night. 
Well, whoever you are, hurry up and make me a meal. Right away, sir. And the meal was his neck. That was... In a way, it was a wholesome game of a twist, where we were also a murderous, blood-sucking vampire. But we only took it out on rude people and people that weren't nice. And that helped me get out some of my aggression as well. I played that. I've been playing that almost three hours. Wow. I really, for a free game as well. That was incredible. I, I really enjoyed that. I feel a bit better about myself. I, I do. Doesn't feel like I've had a, the day from out. Oh, my washing's still outside. Oh, and it's raining. Oh, God. 